you guys can talk to me as long as you want to because this might be one of the last times you get a chance to talk to me. So hang in there with me. On um, February 22nd, uh, Mike called me to his office. And, um, his words to me were, we're not going to renew your contract. Uh, you have the option to resign now or continue to coach the basketball team and resign at the end of the season. Uh, my comment to him was, uh, I don't know what you've heard about me as a man, but I'm going to show you, get an opportunity to show you who I am as a man because I'm going to coach this basketball team. I thought it would be very hypocritical of me uh, to walk on all my guys uh, after everything we've done here in terms of player development and helping them to understand how to handle themselves as men. And I thought some of the adversity they've already been through in their lives, it was very important for me, as uncomfortable as it might be for myself, it was no longer about me. Uh, it was about them and helping them to get through the adversity in their lives and showing them one last time how to handle themselves in a very tough moment. When I look at this team, I've told them often that the program is bigger than any one coach. It's bigger than any one president. It's bigger than any one athletic director and it's bigger than any one players because the program has been here forever and all of us have come and gone. This moment does not define who we are as a basketball staff, because my staff did an outstanding job for this team this year. To grind them through 16 games, I thought they were sensational. When you sit here and talk about a potential of four games being swung to get to 20 wins, and maybe we're not sitting here today. This team grinded it through, and my staff grinded it through as well, particularly with all the noise. I thought they did an outstanding job, and in particular down the stretch, winning four of the last five ball games. When I look back on this basketball program, I think it's very important for all of you to understand that just like Harder did and some of those great coaches Hobson before, at this point in time, we're just the caretakers of this program and that's all we are. That's why I've always encouraged people to invest in Oregon, invest in your basketball program because there'll be other coaches here. You'll have greater coaches here. But when you look back on it and see that it was in our hands, you will see that we took very, very good care of this program. Not only the winning, but more importantly, the academic standards that we've set for this basketball program.